Well, hey everybody, welcome to Unboxed Plus Learn, where I'm going to unbox and learn, and you get to do that along with me. And I'm really excited about that because in Edmonton Catholic Schools, we're a mecca of innovation in new technology. We have this technology, and this helps us in a lot of ways, but sometimes we've got to unbox something else, and I'm going to show you something really awesome, so let me get rid of this. All right, it dropped eight months ago off of Kickstart. In the mail, one June day, I got my Cano. Ooh. And you know, I was so excited because originally I had a Raspberry Pi. No, not the kind you eat. This is the kind that feeds your brain. And I was really excited that this is a computer. Yes, it's a computer, one that you can build ourselves. And I know what you're thinking. Uh, the tech department doesn't actually let us build computers in our school. Well, this kind you can. Now, if you're like me, you want to learn everything and you want to learn about Raspberry Pi, Oh my, this was a little bit too much geek speak for just a regular girl like me. So what the Cano kit does is it makes you be able to build a computer if you are only four years old. And I was able to prove it with my son in our kitchen one day. When this came in the mail, he unboxed it completely. And that's what I'm gonna do for you today. So get ready for magic. Wait a second, it's easier than this. A four year old can do it. Ah, the Cano kit complete with everything you need to build your own computer. So if I take it out of the box, ah, magic is waiting to happen. What's inside and what makes the Cano computer great is a lot of tape. Hold on a second. As you can tell, this is brand spanking new. It comes with a Raspberry Pi. So this is the same high tech gizmo that we see all over the internet, but it's here and available for little kids to be able to do. So, don't need this, save this for the makerspace. I'm gonna start with the brains. Now, you're probably thinking, how are we gonna do this step by step without super cool Trish? It comes with a children's storybook, and it shows you, page by page, how to plug in, set up everything. Pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take apart and show you some of the basic parts and we're gonna have this computer up and running in less than 10 minutes. And what's amazing is it teaches you language arts, math, science, music, everything. So, got the Raspberry Pi, the brains. Comes with a super cool case. Now I have to say, you can also build a case out of Lego or if you've got like a cool like Altoids mint box, that can be a case. Comes with a speaker. This is your magic wand. It is a keyboard that's uh, perfect for those little size fingers to be able to do. I've got a power cable. Nice. I love how everything's like so colorful and so bright. I don't know, I'm kind of a fan of bright colors. HDMI cable. It's got the brains, it's SD card. Wi-Fi dongle. I love the word dongle. And I've got my plug. Awesome. Now, in addition to these cool parts, I also get some things to make my case look even cooler. My coding book, which we'll get to. And I mean, I'm sorry, who doesn't love stickers? So you get to design this, make it super awesome. And if you're feeling like just having a kind of a fun kind of day, you can add the stickers to yourself. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to build a fully functioning computer. Don't go out and buy anything. You have Frankensteins in your tech graveyard that you can build. This old monitor was sitting there collecting dust. So what's gonna happen is instead of using this HDMI cable by itself because, let's face it, it doesn't fit, for a whopping $9, we can get a digital converter box that's gonna connect this old computer and make it brand new again. So this, you can save, put it on as a cool necklace, save it for something else if you are one of those schools. It matches my sweater. You know, I planned this today. I can probably leave this on. Now I've got stickers and a cool cable. Um, I'm gonna use this one instead. So I'm gonna take my very groovy Raspberry Pi and I'm gonna put it nice and safe in my case. Raspberry Pis are super durable. We're not gonna hand some little kids our $2,000 MacBook and say, here, play. But this is a safe way to hand kids a computer that they can build and they can play, and it's not a big deal if something gets broken. 
This is a speaker. What's really cool about the Cano system is it makes the Raspberry Pi talk to you. So I'm going to take this and get this all plugged in. Got it. Awesome. Now, our next step is we're going to make sure that we uh, turn on our keyboard. Now, what's really cool is you can plug it in with a USB, but if you want to have a little more freewheeling fun, it is wireless. It's got another dongle that you can take out and you can plug into your Pi. Awesome. And let's not forget the Wi-Fi dongle. I'm going to plug in my HDMI cable for my monitor. And then I'm going to hook up my power. Now, this is just a micro USB, so if you have an old cell phone kicking around, or you know, you can get these at 7-Eleven while you're getting a Slurpee into keto, they're like $3. All of these things are really inexpensive. Now, before we plug anything in, we have to make sure the brains. This is our operating system. It's as simple as this, and everything's free online. In the Cano kit, it comes pre-installed. So I'm just gonna make sure that my SD card gets plugged in. All right. We are ready to build our Frankenstein and bring it to life. So, the last thing that you have to make sure that you uh, plug, plug in is going to be the actual Pi. Three days, three days, I didn't know why my computer wasn't working. Why I bought this awesome brand new thing and it wouldn't turn on. Because you have to plug in the Pi last. Ready? Drum roll, please. Wait, there's nobody here. My own drum roll. In it goes. And we wait for the magic to happen. We wait. Where is Alex Trebek in the Jeopardy song when you need him? We can cue up the elevator music. That's right, elevator music. I need elevator music. I need sound effects. Where's my Foley person? Ah, there we go. I'm seeing a lot of script on the screen. I'm seeing a happy face. This is one of those magical moments where kids and teachers realize, I made that happen. And you know, I didn't have to wait for a tech person to do it for me. I didn't have to go to a PD session. I just had to take a chance. That was it. In less than five minutes, we built an entire computer. Now you're probably thinking, okay, great. Now what? I've got a whole bunch of computers in my school. This one is different. We're able to take the Cano and it's gonna talk to kids. Hold on a second here. Uh, uh, uh. It's talking to them. It's telling them, hey, hello, welcome, what's your name? And it's going to take them through step by step how they can build this computer and code this computer and make this world their own. It is a school after all. This is part of their learning. And no, I'm not out of here yet. You're stuck with me a few more minutes. So what is my name? I'm going to type my name. Now, I prefer to plug my keyboard right in here. Kids can make up their own avatars, their own computer names, they can put in their first names, or you can just give your computer a name. For some reason, my son named our computer Brian. I think because he thinks his Uncle Brian's way smarter than me, but I'll prove him wrong yet. Okay. Now this got jostled. Now for any of those teachers out there that are thinking, I don't know how to do this, don't worry. This takes you through step by step everything that you need to do with great colorful pictures 
and simple sentences to be able to say, hey, don't worry, now grab the small end, connect it to your computer. The online community is great too. I have to say, I didn't know how to use any of this stuff. But when you go online, you see other teachers taking a chance and kids who are loving it, it makes it totally worth it. Now let's say we don't want to use this big thing. I also finally found a use for this old thing. You can take your Cano and you can hook it to an old iPad and now you've got a screen too. Hmm. This is the part we wait. We need more elevated music. All right, we're back. The cannon was loading. And what's really cool, it's got this super user-friendly, little kid happiness, bright and colorful, screen that's gonna load for the kids. And so this could sit in a classroom. It can be part of your everyday learning. If you have a computer lab, you can just come and take over just the monitors using the cannons or other Raspberry Pis. And so what's really neat on here is it sets up a cannon world for kids. I'm gently going to move my Frankenstein because I want you to be able to see just how cool that is. Now, some of the things you can do in here now that you've got this all set up and built in less than five minutes, I'll remind you, is code powers. Yeah! It takes the kids right through everything they can do where they can make snake using their mathematical sequencing and patterning skills. They can build Pong. Who didn't love Pong? Really? Kids can just code? Just like that. They code like that. They can code with no previous experience. And if they can do it, I can do it. I'm sorry, Minecraft. Minecraft is the bread and butter of kids nowadays. You make music, you can record your videos, and finally, app development. All of these things are here and available for kids who are just starting to learn how to read. What's really great is my Cana will talk to me and it'll take me through some of these different steps. And I love that every time I'm earning my coding powers, you know, I can reward myself with another super cool sticker. So that's kind of it. That's the Cano. And it's one of those things that takes the pencil and paper to a whole new level of learning. Kids want to do this. And I have to say, I want to too. So I don't know. I hope you like the Cano. And I hope that you come back again to be able to see other things that we can unbox. Ah! <laughs>